All right, Frankie, here's your 18th scale uh, Maisto Dodge Challenger Police Vehicle. Um, I was almost completely through the video, and my freaking batteries went dead on my camera. Gotta love it. Anyway, one more thing to gripe about about my camera. Um, during that video, I had these antennas mounted on the car. I'll send you pictures of those antennas mounted. They were mounted really cool, and they looked nice. But guess what? The batteries died. So I've already pulled them off because I was showing how well this glue works for putting the antennas on. You can glue them on there, pull the antennas off, or if they fall off or whatever, they don't leave any spots in the car. They rub right off. They will not mess the glue will not mess the paint up. So anyway, works great. But I'm not going to glue them back on there because I'm a little upset. But anyway, let's move uh, the pooch out of the way here, and our police officer that volunteered his time to uh, model with a car. Go Broncos! All right. And that's out of the way. Uh, doors open. And the hood opens. Of course, as everybody knows, I can't ever get it open with my fingers. Hood opens. Engine cover and everything's still in there. So everything's just like it was from the box. And also the trunk lid opens, which had antennas on it just a little bit ago, but I pulled them off to show how easily they can be removed and swapped spots. Uh, this is where your battery is located. You can see, easy enough to change. Pull it out. Change it. Put it back in. Shed the uh, or trunk lid. Uh, I told you that I used the original light bar that was on the car. Uh, this chrome insert right here, I don't know how well the camera's picking up. You can see the yellow across it. Yellow. Uh, straight out of Kentucky. Uh, yellow uh, uh, simulated traffic advisor on here. What I did was uh, pull that chrome insert out, put a little bit of spacing in there, and then shave my red and blue LEDs to where they'd fit inside the light bar. Glued or fastened this and glue it. And actually, it went back in place like it's supposed to um, back to the chrome insert and then I added a red and blue uh, LED simulating a pod and then also yellow pods across the center simulating a traffic advisor so anyway, it turned out pretty cool to be able to use that uh, same uh, yep this light bar uh, to get the effect that we wanted to, to get with that uh, quite a bit of lighting on this one. Uh, we're going to look at the interior first, though. Um, had grill strobes. I'm sorry, front uh, bump, push bumper strobes, headlight, uh, true wig wags. You didn't ask for those. You just asked for flashing. I went ahead and added the true wig wags for you. Um, push bumper strobes, fog light strobes, front visor strobes. Of course, red and blue strobe light bar. Red and blue alternating strobes on this uh, door mirrors. Red and blue, uh, two reds and two blues uh, on the rear deck. And also flashing tail lights, which I kind of did uh, something cool with that too. I uh, wanted it to turn out really nice for you. Like I said, we didn't really discuss. We discussed a few details, but you kind of left me at liberty to do what I wanted to do to it to add to it. So that I definitely did do. Um, let's uh, we'll look at the interior. Um, kind of uh, check out the interior. I'm trying to flash that. Oh, Dang on it! There we go. That strobe's awesome. Anyway. Really, so about something that freaks my camera out. The strobe flashlight really does. Um, I left the monitor that came with the car on the dash. Okay, you can see that in there, maybe, with the camera angle. And you can see right above the steering wheel, just to the right of it, I added a dash mounted radar unit. This is a traffic division car. So I added a. Man, this light is freak. It's too bright. Hang on a second. Back to strobe, high, medium, low. There we go. Um, you can see the. Uh, uh, radar dash mounted radar unit there uh, on the dash just right to the steering wheel right of the steering wheel uh, also have a uh, uh, front uh, facing antenna also a rear facing antenna on the rear deck uh, you can see the keyboard it didn't have a keyboard to it so I added a keyboard to it uh, for your MDT um, for this side I think that does it uh, you mentioned the shotgun was in the back seat well, not only was there a shotgun, it had an M4 in there as well. So you had an a AR platform rifle and also a shotgun in there. So I took the rack from the rear, uh, moved everything to the front, and mounted it up front in the floorboard. Um, your two uh, weapons. I added, you can see here, a saddle to the side of the shotgun stock. that holds five shells in it. And also added a saddle to the rack itself uh, that holds five more shells. Uh, again, the AR platform is back here in the back. Uh, to the, more to the center of the car. Uh, there you can see your keyboard a little bit better that I added. Also added a faux <laughs> cable uh, running from the keyboard to the monitor. Kind of add a little bit more realism to it. 
and I do need to clean this up a little bit more obviously I thought I blew everything out of it good enough but still kind of dusty in there also added a seat uh, seat back organizer as well um, you can see that a little bit better here maybe this flashlight's killing this camera um, flashlight uh, cuffs you have uh, what is supposed to appear as a cell phone, which I added some decals and stuff to these to liven them up a little bit so it looks more like an iPhone maybe there. Um, ink pens and stuff, notepads, uh, a clipboard, uh, a couple of papers on a clipboard, some pictures on it. Um, also, you have a couple of uh, pepper spray uh, um, ca uh, bottles or canisters. I'm just messing up that I'm uh, in there as well on the seat organizer. So anyway, it looks pretty cool in there. It uh, adds a lot to the interior of the car. No, you do not get my police officer and my canine dog. But anyway, as for the lighting, you have uh, two switches. Uh, one, two on the bottom here. Here's your lighting switch on the uh, driver's side. And over here on the passenger side is your button for the siren. Uh, select the tones and on and off with it. Let's go ahead and turn your switch on for the power. Just pull it to the rear of the car. Or the lighting, you get. Can uh, you have your true strobe? Uh, I'm sorry, true uh, wigwag headlights. Uh, and there you can see your red and blue strobe push bumper or push bar lights. Bull bar, everybody calls it something different. All right, uh, your fog light strobes. Those are connected to a circuit board with the. Let's see, what do I have running with that? I believe those run with the front visor lights as well. Um, so anyway, red and blue strobes there on uh, three pattern uh, circuit board. Uh, front visor. See your lights there. Also on a circuit board, three different patterns. One red and one blue there. Uh, red and blue alternating strobes on the side, on the mirrors. See those kicking? Everything looks white because there's so much that's so bright with my camera. Um, again, you have an interior work light. You can see it lights up the interior a little bit better. Or you can see the interior a little bit better with that, uh, the power of the switch on. It lights everything up a little bit better in there for you. Alright. <clears throat> now on the rear deck. Uh, two blue and uh, two red strobes. And you can see your rear, uh, rear facing uh, radar antenna on the uh, deck as well. Now the tail lights. Tail lights was the last thing I did to this car. It was, I was kind of torn. The the tail light lens is so big on this thing, and I just I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to just put one LED in there. I didn't want to cut them all the way out and try to use some kind of circuit board or something like that. Because I know we were kind of keeping it at a certain limit uh, cost wise. So what I ended up doing was adding uh, another w one of my wigwag boards to it, and added six LEDs to the rear. I uh, just were kind of giving it a little bit of a wigwag pattern. For your flashing tail lights, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, like I said, it's the first time I've ever done one of the challengers like this. Um, you know, with, with, with tail lights this way in here, anyway. Uh, the one of the other ones I did, matter of fact, I just said that one the other night had six LED, or five LEDs, I think, across had like a traffic advisor type uh, setup to them. You anyway, know, you wanted flashing ones, so I ended up doing uh, I was using one of those boards, and just putting a wigwag type board in there. Uh, three LEDs on either side. And continue around the side of the car again. Uh, red and blue strobe side view mirror, door mirror, and then, then like I said, you can see maybe the interior a little bit better on this side as well, uh, with the light on, some of the goodies in there. Alright, um, only thing left is your siren, uh, the same four-tone siren that most builders use. Hit it again, you got a different uh, tone for each press. Next press turns it off completely. So there you have it, uh, Frankie. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, we'll uh, get this one done. We'll try to get the other ones knocked out as soon as possible, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see them Broncos win the Super Bowl. It'll be a tough game, but we'll see what, we'll see what happens this weekend. Appreciate it, Frankie. Have a good one.